What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to save your SHSH2 blobs for iOS 12.3, 12.3.1 and 12.4 in order to be able to downgrade in the future. But before we do that, I would like to tell you that I have changed the name of the channel. It's no longer FCE365 TV iDevice Central. It's now simply called iDevice Central because I do believe that this reflects better the content that I create, basically iDevice stuff. And of course, it's easier to remember, but I wanted to mention this because some of you probably know the channel as FCE365 or FCE and so on. So the FCE365 is basically a color in hex and I used to love that color and that's why I named the channel that way. But now it's called iDevice Central, you know, the last part of the old channel name because this one actually reflects better the content. So if you see videos from iDevice Central from now on, it's actually me, it's FCE365, it's Geosnow in here and we're still doing the same jailbreak content. Anyways, in order to be able to save your blobs, you need to use TSS Saver by one Canon. Now this website is actually quite incredible because you can use it on any platform you want as long as you have your ACID. Now in order to save your blobs all you have to do is to get your ACID but for the moment you should keep in mind that you can only save the blobs for the currently signed versions which in this case is 12.4, 12.3.1 and 12.3. The reason you want to save these blobs is because you would be able to downgrade to these versions in the future or to restore to these versions in the future when a nonce setter is available. For example, I have created a nonce setter for 12.2, 12.4 and 12.3 a few days ago and I released it so anybody who has blobs for 12.2 and 12.4 and so on can still downgrade to these versions and can still update to these versions from a lower version that is no longer supported by apps and so on and they can still restore their devices to 12.2 even though it's no longer signed and Apple doesn't allow any downgrades anymore for these versions because they have the blobs which means that they are able to downgrade so it's very important to save your blobs if you are into jailbreaking and downgrading your device it can save your jailbreak if something goes wrong and you need to restore your device because at that moment you will not have to restore to the whatever is the last version available you will be able to restore to the version you already have for example 12.3.1 once that will be no longer signed for a while and of course once that will be jailbroken. So in order to save your blobs all you have to do is to navigate in iTunes with your device connected. There we go and as you can see here it says it's an iPhone 6. You have to press the serial number once, twice and then you're going to see something like this ACID. You have to copy the number in there and all you have to do is to paste it in here on TSS Saver. Keep in mind you do not have to update to 12.4 or to 12.3.1 or to 12.3 in order to be able to save the blobs. You can simply be on iOS 12.2 or on 12.1.2 or on iOS 10 and so on and you will still be able to save the blobs for whatever version is signed at the moment. No updates needed. All you need is that unique ACID of your device because the blobs are personalized to your device. And then be very careful to select your proper device in here because if you select a different device than the one you have, the blobs will not be usable for a downgrade. So basically at this point you press submit and you will be able to have your blobs in here. It says that it's done saving them. You press this link and this link in here basically shows you the blobs that you have. And as you can see, I've been saving the blobs for this device since iOS 10.1 when I acquired it. So I have blobs for all the versions that were in the past. Now in order to get the blobs, you press in here in the folder and get the no app nodes one in here. And that's basically your blob file. In order to be able to retrieve it though, if you lose that link, all you have to do is to go back to tsssaver.onecon.com and instead of putting your ACID in here where you save it, you put it in here on the recover, you paste your ACID, get your blobs and you will be able to get the blobs that you have already saved with the program if you lose your link. But yeah, that's basically how you do it, a very simple procedure but it's actually very important and it can save your jailbreak in the future if for some bizarre reason you get into a boot loop or you have to restore or your device stops working and you have to update it to a newer version but that is still jailbroken and so on. So people save your blobs. It's only a one minute job but it could save your bacon in the future so yeah, that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe to stay updated i am geosnow until next time peace out